Contraception. What is it? It is a method to prevent a pregnancy. A contraceptive device is an object using which a pregnancy can be prevented. Now Indian statistics show the onus of preventing a pregnancy largely lies with the women. So women are more aware of the contraceptives while men are ignorant about them. This is not because the access or availability of resources and knowledge is less for men but just because they feel that contraception is a female responsibility. Today, I, Dr. Sudesh Nare, I'm going to talk about the devices that a woman can use for preventing a pregnancy. So let's talk about female contraception. Also, please note that today what I'm going to talk about are all about temporary methods of contraception or what medically we call them as reversible methods of contraception. So the effect of these contraception lie as long as it is being used. As soon as one discontinues the method, the fertility comes back to normal or the ability to get pregnant comes back to what it was before. Female diaphragms or cervical cups. These are devices which needs to be inserted into the vagina. They are cup shaped a little shallow or deep they are supposed to be filled up with spermicidal gel a gel which inactivates the sperms and it has to be inserted inside the vagina before a sexual intercourse now this is non-hormonal it just prevents it just acts as a barrier and prevents the sperm from getting into the woman's womb and the typical failure rate is about 17 percent they are not very easily available in indian markets however they are available online Female condoms. This method is getting popular. One, because it is available online. Two, because a woman can take a little more control herself about her protection against pregnancy and infection. This has to be inserted into the vagina again about eight hours before sexual intercourse. It can stay up to eight hours before sexual intercourse, but it should be discarded immediately after the act. The typical failure rate is about 14%. Female contraceptive sponge. It is a soft disc shaped sponge with spermicidal gel and it has to be inserted deep inside the vagina before the act of intercourse. It needs to be there for at least six hours after the last act of intercourse. Now it can remain in the vagina for about 24 hours and the typical failure rate is about 14 to 27 uh, percent. It, it is more successful in women who have children rather than women who have not had any childbirth. It's important to remember that out of all these methods that I have discussed so far, only female condoms are the ones which can prevent a sexually transmitted infection. Now coming to the more longer methods of contraception or the contraceptive devices that can be used for longer periods of time. Copper tea. This is a small T-shaped device that has to be inserted inside the womb by your doctor and this contains copper and the copper has an anti-fertility effect. Now the, the process might sound a little painful but it's actually a little bit of discomfort for a few minutes. Copper tea can stay in the womb for about three years or five years or ten years depending on how long do you want it to be kept. The typical failure rate is only about 0.8%. L-N-G-I-U-S. Now this is again a small copper tea, small T-shaped device, but instead of copper, it has a hormone in it. It has to be inserted into the womb by your doctor. It can stay in your womb for either three years or five years, depending on what shape it is. It can be a small one or it can be a big one. Now the smaller one has uh, uh, can stay in the womb for about three years and it can be used for young adults or even teenagers uh, to prevent a pregnancy because uh, it can be inserted easily into the womb uh, before a childbirth and the bigger one is being used uh, has to be used by women who are having a child and this can stay in the womb for about five years this is a very effective contraception. The failure rate is about 0.1 to 0.4% and it also helps in reducing menstrual cramps as well as reducing heavy bleeding. Implant. So this is a thin rod like a matchstick which contains a hormone which is released in the body and it is inserted in the upper arm and it just 
feels like uh, something is inside but cannot be seen from outside. It's one of the most effective contraception again. The failure rate typically is about 0.1% and it can also help in reducing menstrual cramps and irregulars uh, and uh, heavy bleeding. However, it can cause some amount of irregular cycles and it typically stays for about in the body for about three years. Injections or shots. These are injections which are given into the muscle by uh, a nurse or by a doctor once in every three months. These injections are one of the most effective methods of contraception, but uh, it does cause a bit of irregular cycles, a little bit of weight gain and this is the only contraception discussed so far in which the fertility return or uh, once you discontinue the injections it takes about eight to nine months for you to get pregnant. So one you can plan your pregnancy accordingly. Contraceptive patch. These are small skin patches which can be worn over the lower abdomen or the buttocks or the upper body except the breasts. These release a small amount of estrogen and progesterone. Each patch can be worn for about a week. So a woman can use these patches for three weeks and then the fourth week she doesn't wear a patch and she has the menstrual periods. Typical failure rate is about 7%. Uh, however, this these patches are not available in India but if one goes abroad for work or study, they can start using them. Hormonal contraceptive ring. It has to be inserted inside the vagina. It's like a rubber band, a silicone rubber band, which can be easily flexed, flexed and put inside the vagina. And this can stay in the vagina for about three weeks after which you take it out and the fourth week you have your periods. This is one of the most popular methods uh, of contraception abroad. In India, it was also gaining popularity, but for some reason, it is out of Indian markets for the last one year. The typical failure rate is about 7%. Contraception is an attitude, an attitude towards being responsible and towards being safe. So choose the right method for you, not by hearsay, but after getting the right information and all the scientific facts so talk to your doctor and be safe subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us